Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Modern Beauty. My name is Amanda and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to do an avant-garde candy cane look for Christmas. So the look is different, the filming style is different, and you guys can let me know if you like this filming style and these types of looks so that we can implement them in the content for the future. So I am excited. I have some things laid out here, but it's kind of going to be experimental, so we're just going to see how it goes, and let it, let's dive in. Okay, so let's see here. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to go with um, this L'Oreal True Match in Neutral Classic Ivory N2, and generally speaking this matches my skin tone pretty well. Um, it's a little on the lighter shade, I tend to go, I tend to want to go a little darker so that I can um, have more contrast with my contouring and my highlight. But, um, but yeah, so for the sake of this I am going to use this because I do want this look to be a little bit lighter for the base. So, yeah. Not a huge fan of this bottle. I've heard like a bunch of great things about this foundation. And I'm curious to know what you think. Because honestly, it's okay, but no, I wouldn't repurchase anything. So now I am doing what we all want to do and covering some circles. So I'm going in and I'm using my concealer. It is just a Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in Deep Ivory. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> so the first thing I think I'm going to do now is my eyebrows. So I'm going to take the the ColourPop Super Shock shadow in the color Fooling Around, which unfortunately is no longer available if you're out there ColourPop and you hear me. This is an amazing color and you should bring it back. Um, I think it's a gorgeous red. Like, it's amazing. I've gone through two of these. Um, and when I had red hair, this was my brow color. And it was perfect. So, just saying. It was my favorite. Okay, so, brow time. Brow time. kind of brings back some nostalgic memories. Okay, so there are my brows. And now, now, ooh, that's broken. What? Well, so now I'm going to take this broken NYX blush in the color Pinched B PB25. And I am going to Do 
I'm going to dust this around where I would have a contour. So I'm gonna I don't want this to be chiseled, which is why I'm not using I'm using a bit of a fluffier brush. Because I do want it to have that diffused blush look. But you'll see, you'll see what I'm So if you're doing this look and you're doing it for a party or anything like that, prime everything. Um, I'm not. I'm just doing this for fun right now and I'm not going anywhere. So I'm not priming because quite frankly I don't want it to last forever. Um, but I would recommend priming should you think it's necessary. You know, we leave, we leave the judgment and the discretion up to you. I'm just blending this a little bit more with a bigger brush. going around the edges of my nose. Alright, I'm taking a brush, this guy, and then dipping him in lightly to the red. And I'm putting him right in my right in the hollow of my cheekbone to give it a little bit of a darker fit. Again, I'm just like lightly dabbing. Oh, and the red I'm using is the Jaclyn Hill palette, and it's Jax. Her palette is like the best one I have for reds at the moment. Although I think that might be changing soon after Christmas. Taking a big fluffy brush and blending. Blending. I don't know which one it was before, but my other load of laundry's done. So I don't know. They're all dried and washed now. Which is yay. Okay. So, that means... So I'm now taking this white highlight from... I don't know why I'm looking on the back here, it's on the front. The NYX Highlighting Contour Pro Palette, which is like a good grief of bright white. So, here we go. Targeting my nose. I want the tip of it pink. So I want to use the red I used for my my brows. Yeah, I'm going in. So I'm doing that, but then I'm also going to diffuse that with some white.
a little bit of a I'm now going back in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm grabbing the crayon apple color. Just I'm going on my lid with this. And y'all know I love to do my makeup first. I really love to do my face first and it's the habit that I get into of, of a habit that I just generally gra gravitate toward. and. I don't always follow my own advice. Look at that fallout already! Ooh! Contacts are bugging out. I'm actually going to go back into that crayon apple color and I'm going to bring it into my crease a little bit more. I am going to go back in on top of this crayon apple and I'm going to take this fooling around by ColourPop that I use for my brows. Because I just I love this red. And I'm gonna pop it on top. Just to give it a little bit more depth. Depth, depth, depth. Now I'm going to take that color blush I use, that NYX. What is that? The next pinched. Going back in. I'm going to diffuse this red a little bit. And my next jump of pencils are gone. Okay, so. I have like no jumbo white pencil mix of the milk 604 left, but we're gonna see what we can get. And I'm gonna line. I don't feel like I use this enough for it to be gone, but hey. It's working. I'm gonna line my bottom left line, or water line, with this. And then, I'm going to take crayon apple, and I'm going to line my lash line with it. Pencil brush, go back into that blush, and buff the bottom out a little bit. I'm going to highlight my brow bone. In the corners of my eyes. Like I said, we're kind of experimenting right now. I'm not entirely sure what this look's gonna come out looking like. What do you get when you buy your down, sweet? Eating as much as an elephant eats. Okay. So now I'm going to take a lip sense in the color Crimson. And. I'm taking a really tiny brush and I'm going in and I'm grabbing some of that red and I'm going to I'm 
I'm drawing a little swirly on my nose. And this is kind of dark, which I wondered if it would be, but it's not quite the color I want, so now I'm taking a blood girl. And I'm going to use that. And it's a bit brighter. And I'm going to... I'm now taking the color Snow in Shadow Sense by Cinegents and size of the brush and I'm going to make speckles all along my face. I'm going to do a white liner Crimson does not work the way you want it to. I'm going in and then taking. I'm taking a red. I'm taking the lip sense again. And I'm doing like slanted lines. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to do, this could end up being an absolute disaster. It really could. The truth of the matter is I don't know how it's going to go, but I feel like my eyes need more depth. So if I line with a black line, separate. We'll see how we feel about it. How, how do we, what do we feel about that? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But hey, that's okay. Because Life's an experiment. Okay, so she lined it with black. And I do think I prefer it both on top and bottom. So I'm going in with the fly girl again.
Okay, so I'm doing like on dig line and on saw line. The hatching stuff is hard. That is Entering the uh, the lush, and now you take a little bit more to get more of a rosy look. like that around cheek is missing. I'm going to take some of this glitter primer on my finger. Excuse me for talking crazy. Let's wait for this to dry. I'm going to mix the higher and with the glitter, this is some silver glitter, and I'm just gonna tap it on my cheek here. And on this side. And back here. And also down here, down here. Silver glitter. Okay, so I just put some mascara on, and now I'm going to take this and it's the NYX white, and I'm gonna light out the edges on my butt so it. Now, uh, last but not least, I'm going to take. I broke a piece of, I broke a candy cane up, is what I did. And I am going to take some of these larger chunks and use, use lash glue to put them on my face. And then I will eat a candy cane. Oh, the finished look! All done! So, I feel like a candy cane princess. Just need a crown. Oh, but in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, and let me know if you like this avant-garde style type look and also this filming style. Um, and I will implement it in future videos if you do. Um, you can go ahead and join our Mod Squad family by hitting that subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye!